Today we're going to be taking a look at small travel trailers with bunk beds. Now we found three awesome floor plans that we're going to review in this video, but stick around till the very end so you can see which one we choose as our favorite model. Without any further ado, let's get started on our three reviews of small travel trailers with bunk beds. This travel trailer is the Grand Design Imagine 21BHE. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of just 4,698 pounds, a gross vehicle weight rating of 6,395 pounds, which gives you a cargo carrying capacity of 1,697 pounds. And the hitch weight on this one is just 400 and 56 pounds. Now, when you first walk into this travel trailer, you walk right into the living, sleeping, and kitchen area. Everything's kind of one big area in here, but it's made really well because it's a very multifunctional floor plan. And what I mean by that is this travel trailer has a Murphy bed. And so this is a seating area when it's in the upright position, and then it'll fold down into a bed, which I'll show you in just a minute. But to start off with, you have this nice comfy couch here and the center part of it folds down and you've even got a couple of cup holders in here. So that's a very nice design. And then below me here on each side, you've got a full extension drawer. So there's some storage space underneath of the sofa as well. You'll also notice that on each side, you've got a nice wardrobe cabinet, which is very deep. I would say two and a half feet deep anyway. You can hang things in there and you'll have plenty of storage space. And then you've got a couple of drawers below that for additional storage too. You've also got a night table or a end table on each end of the sofa. And then there's storage below there. And then below that, there's a receptacle on each side also. So when this does convert into a bed and you wanna charge your phone overnight or anything along those lines, you've got power on each side of the bed to do that. Now for this to convert into a Murphy bed, Grand Design has a really great setup in my opinion. Many RVs have a jackknife sofa here. You kind of have to lift the bottom and mess around with it. Grand Design, you just flip the whole thing forward. Super easy to do. Anybody could do that. And then you just pop this one latch, let this fall down, grab your mattress. It's a little easier without the plastic on it, but this is brand spanking new. You'll also notice once I flip down the bed, it's got a Serta brand mattress in here. One of the biggest complaints about Murphy beds in the past is that the mattresses were not very comfortable. This is a one piece mattress, super comfy, nice and thick, very, very comfortable. You'll also notice over top of the bed, there's a couple of reading lights and there's also a little cubby on each side, which has both a receptacle and USB ports. So you could plug in a CPAP machine, you could plug in your phone and let it charge overnight, whatever you'd really like to do. And you'll also notice there's a little storage shelf up over top. Now, right next to where the sofa is and the Murphy bed is where the TV location is. And this TV can come out a little bit and it can swing around so you can see it from the dinette. Um, you can also swing it so that you can see it better when you're laying in bed. It's not the best location that I've ever seen in a travel trailer, but it's really the only spot that makes sense in here. But with the swing arm, you know, they make the most of the location. Now, as you move around through the camper, you'll notice that we have a nice inline kitchen here. That just means everything's all in one line. It's a great kitchen setup. Right over top, they have these nice black glass doors with a little bit of storage over top. Right below that, you have a nice deep single bowl sink with a window over top, nice gooseneck faucet, and it also comes with a sprayer included. And then below that, you've got plenty of storage down below your sink. Just to the left of the sink area, you've got a little bit of countertop space, and then you have your bank of drawers for your kitchen utensils and such. And then you have a microwave oven up top. This is just a smaller microwave oven. It's not a convection oven, but it doesn't need to be. And you'll see why in just a second. You've got a three burner stove and then you have a real oven down below that. And then you've got this really nice tall drawer for pots and pans. Just next to the stove top and microwave, you have a refrigerator. Now this is a Furion 12 volt fridge, compressor style refrigerator. It is really large has a separate freezer. It's got everything you could ever want for a small camper this size, terrific fridge. And then right next to the refrigerator, you've got 
two separate pantry cabinets with shelves in there so you can store all kinds of good dry food storage. Right across from the kitchen is where the dinette is located. But one thing I wanted to show you real quick is on the back of this dinette, there's a little spot here for all your shoes to be thrown under there. It's a really great location. You walk right in, kick your shoes under there, and they're out of the way. The dinette in here is a good sized dinette. I would say you could seat two people very comfortably. Four people could squeeze on in here, but the table drops down and this can also convert into another bed inside this travel trailer. You'll also notice it's got a nice size window over top and then it's got storage. Kind of looks like an airplane storage up over top here. These doors are kind of weird. When you open them, they kind of ka-chunk, but they're designed that way. It's just how the hinges are since they're sort of in an inlay design. Now behind the dinette area, you have two really nice size bunks here. Uh, each bunk has USB ports. They each have their own lights and they each also have windows. So you get some natural lighting in there. And then one other thing you'll notice down below the bunk, perfect spot to put Fido or anything else that you want to store underneath. So here I am inside the bathroom, and this was a really nice surprise to walk into. This is a really large bathroom for what I would call a medium-sized to smaller travel trailer. Um, it's really nice and spacious. It's even got a window in it, which you normally don't see in a travel trailer bathroom. Now, I'm standing in the shower. Uh, I would say if you're taller than 6'3", you're going to have to hunch down a bit to take a shower in here. But... It's also got a nice retractable shower door so you don't have to deal with a shower curtain blowing in and sticking to you. Also in here, there's a lot of good space, a little, little shelf for your soap or shampoo and things like that. Throughout the bathroom, you'll notice that there is a vanity top, which gives you some extended countertop space, storage down below, and then of course storage under the sink. Up top here, there's a corner medicine cabinet you can't really see it well from where Susan is, but it's a good size corner medicine cabinet set up. And then on the commode, you'll notice that I have plenty of room either side. And then back behind me here is even more storage inside the bathroom. This travel trailer is the Jayco J Feather, model number 171BH. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of 4,025 pounds, cargo carry capacity of 920 pounds for a total gross vehicle weight rating of 4,995 pounds, and it measures in at just 20 feet, three inches long. Now, when you first walk into this RV, it feels really spacious in here, especially when you consider it doesn't have a slide. You've got your sleeping area to the right, your dinette area straight ahead, and your kitchen on the left here. And of course, there's bunks and a bathroom towards the back as well, but this feels really good inside. The sleeping area here has three cabinet doors overhead, plenty of storage up there. I like the black glass insets. That's a very nice feature. There's also a TV off to my right, and this can swivel out so you can view it both from the bed or the dinette. So it's in a really, really great location. There's also a window off to the one side and there's a little tower of power here right at the end of your bed so you can go ahead and plug things in charge your phones what have you and it's got a little sort of headboard shelf so you can set things there while you're sleeping at night also down below the bed i haven't seen these before but it's got these really cool storage bins that are hinged so you can sit on these use them as a foot rest and you can certainly store lots of things inside of them so neat little design that we've really not seen before the dinette area is really very comfortable for two people. You could squeeze four in here, but it's really more comfortable for two. But it's got a nice big window over top here. Also down below on each side, there's a door that opens. So you have plenty of storage space underneath of the bench seats. The top does drop down, so this will make another bed for one. And then you have these black glass inset doors with plenty of storage area overhead. The kitchen area is a nice inline kitchen setup, so everything's in, in line. You've got a standard, just small microwave up top, and then you have another storage cabinet next to that. Down below, you have a small window over your kitchen sink. Kitchen sink itself is pretty small. It'd be hard to do your dishes in there, but at least you have a good sink available. Nice gooseneck faucet. Then you've got a three burner stove, and below that, couple of drawers for storage 
kitchen utensils, pots and pans, what have you. And then there's even additional storage under the kitchen sink. The refrigerator has cabinet panels built right onto it, so it really blends right into the kitchen area. It looks very, very nice. This is what's considered a 12 volt refrigerator, so it's got lots of space inside and its own separate freezer, pretty nice setup. And below that, it has another big deep drawer for extra storage as well. So just across from the refrigerator and behind the dinette is where the bunks are set up. Now these bunks are really nice because they each have a window so they get natural light and they both have receptacles and USB ports so the kids can plug in, recharge, watch movies, all the fun stuff they like to do. This bottom bunk actually folds up towards us and there's a door which is about three and a half feet tall. So if you have bikes or things that you need to store in here, you can pop this bottom bunk up and store things in here. And then it's got this cargo net. You can also store things under the bunk if you're not using the outside door. So here I am in the bathroom and it's a good size bathroom for a very small travel trailer. I'm, as you know, 5'11 and there are about four inches over my head. So if you're 6'3", you'll fit in here just fine. The shower's a very nice setup and it comes with a retractable shower door with an upper curved shower rod. So the shower door actually slings out and away from you while you're in the shower. Very nice touch. Outside here, you'll notice that you've got a very large size medicine cabinet. Down below that, a good size vanity, countertop space, open storage, and closed storage as well. This travel trailer is the Lance model number 2185. It's got a unloaded vehicle weight of 4,565 pounds, cargo carrying capacity of very impressive 2,435 pounds, for a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,000 pounds, and it measures in at 25 feet, eight inches long. Now, when you first walk into this camper, you can just feel the fact that this is a Lance camper. It's very well built, very well um, decorated. You can just feel the richness and overall quality of this camper. It's very, very nice. On the right-hand side here, what Lance has done is usually, there would be a Murphy bed here and the Murphy bed would flip up and then it would block this window. And then this is a jackknife sofa. You'd put the sofa down and then you could flip your Murphy bed down on top of it. What Lance has done is they've made this a multifunctional area, but instead of having the standard Murphy bed that's in the up position, this mattress just folds in half. This still jackknifes out and you just take the mattress and fold it over and you're all set. The big benefit here is you always have the benefit of this very big window in the front of your camper. Now, a couple other things to note up front here are up top, there's a little storage shelf for some additional storage there. There are little reading lights on either side of the bed. And then on each side of the bed, it's got a really nice size end table. Both end tables have receptacles and USB ports so you can charge things in, run your CPAP, whatever you need to do. And then under each end table, there's also a shelf that pulls out for some storage there as well. Speaking of storage, each side of uh, the bed has a wardrobe cabinet with a rack up top. And these are really deep cabinets, probably close to three feet deep. You'll notice also that on each side of the bed, there's a window so you can get a nice cross ventilation going through here. The valances around the window are leather and material. It's just a very, very rich, luxurious feel. And then you've got this area with some controls, another receptacle. You even have some magazine racks built in here too. So they really try to make it, take advantage of all the space that they possibly can. The kitchen area in here is an inline kitchen setup, which we've discussed in many of our videos. It's my favorite kind of kitchen setup because everything's in a line. It's very, very easy to access. Up top here, you'll notice it has like an airplane style cabinet with a removable shelf. So you have plenty of options for stowing things up there. Just below that, you've got this neat little rack where you can store, I guess, spices and things like that that won't slide off the shelf. Next to that, we have another big storage cabinet over top of the range hood. Below that, we have a three burner stove. And then we also have the kitchen sink area. There's not a lot of countertop space in here, so it comes with these covers, which are removable, and you have a really nice size kitchen sink here. In addition to that, it comes with a gooseneck faucet and a separate sprayer. 
One other thing to note, since there's not a lot of countertop space, is that it does have an extend, extend a top, so you can have some extra countertop space here. Down below, there's additional storage. Lance does a good job with rounding off all the edges and finishing them. And then they have these drawers that pull out. The cool thing about these is they are fully removable, so it's very convenient and easy to use them. Next to that, we have a convection oven microwave, so you're covered for everything there. Right next to the range and microwave, you have a good size refrigerator in here. This is a three-way fridge, but a decent sized freezer and separate refrigerator. And then down below that, additional storage space for whatever you'd like to throw under there. Dinette is super luxurious in here. I feel like I'm sitting at a country club at a golf course, to be honest with you. But I mean, it's just so luxurious from the lighting, the detail in the, in the trim that goes around, all the valances and the leather material. It's super comfortable, super lavish, just a very nice setup. This table also drops down into the U-shaped dinette. So you could sleep two people in here easily. You could sleep two kids in here. And then on top of that, Lance does a nice job with these full extension drawers under each side of the dinette so you can maximize your storage. Next to the dinette, you've got your entertainment area. So your TV would go right here, which is a good spot. You'll be able to see the TV not only from the dinette, but also from the couch or your bed at the front of this trailer. There's also a space down below for additional charging because there's a receptacle and USB ports. You've got your built-in radio here and then additional storage down below. So here we are at the very back of this trailer. And one of the things that makes this such a great family sized camper is that it's got its own separate access door, which is back here towards the bunks and the rear bathroom. So if the kids are running in and out of the camper, they need to use the bathroom. They don't have to run through the whole entire camper. They can come in the second door here and they've got a vanity here and the bathroom straight across. Now the vanities are very nice size. It's got a beautiful light fixture above. It's got a nice size medicine cabinet here with all finished edges inside. A good deep vanity sink. This is the deepest vanity sink I've ever seen in a camper before. It also has this extended shelf so you have some extra countertop space. And then down below, there's additional shelf storage now here I am inside the shower, which is right across from the vanity sink. And this is a decent sized bathroom for a smaller camper. Uh, I, one thing I like about this shower is it has this retractable shower curtain style door. The trim actually bows out into the room, so it keeps the shower curtain out and away from you. And it's a decent sized shower in here. I like the shower head setup because it's adjustable. You can move it up and down to whatever your height needs are. You also have a little spot in here for shampoo or soap to sit. Another nice feature they built in is the ladder for the bunks, which are right outside the bathroom. So it's a great place to stow the ladder in an out of the way location. And then of course, sitting on your commode, it would pass half the elbow test, but not the other half because the door would be closed. So at the very, very end of this trailer is where the bunks are. But before we look at the bunks, there's a couple of really nice, deep ones, a wardrobe closet and the other's just a storage closet. But you have plenty of storage space back here. There's also two bunk beds back here. Now, this one happens to have two mattresses on it for some reason. We're at the RV show, so I guess they just threw one up here. But it does have its own window. It has a skylight and a regular light. And you'll also notice that the lower bunk has a door in the back, so you can remove the lower bunk and store things like bicycles or taller objects back here. And if you have the bunk in place, you have lots of storage underneath of it. So you could put Fido in his cage under there or any other storage items that you have. All right, honey. Well, after reviewing all three of these campers, which one is your favorite? Well, my favorite was the Grand Design. Yeah. The first one. I knew it. It was a great camper. It was. It was. Um, I think it comes in at an affordable price range. Yep, for sure. I like the fact that it had the Murphy bed, so that gives you the multifunction of having a sofa, a, sl a sitting area. Yep. And it gave you a little more living space. Yep. Um, and I thought the bunk beds were humongous. Yeah, because they were actually they double were very wide. very spacious. Yeah, they were yeah. double wide, double right. bunks. I mean, you so. could honestly get, if you had small children, two in each. Yeah. But right. it, you know, it was, you know, the windows, the features that it had, great bathroom, tons of storage in the bathroom. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah. So that one was my favorite. Well, that's awesome. And yours? My favorite was 
the landscaper. Oh. <laughs> I just can't help myself. When I see these luxurious interiors, they are beautiful. especially with all that nice brown leather and everything, yeah. I just fall in love with that mm -hmm. right away. I love it. So, they do a great job with the finishes around the cabinetry. They do. They yeah. really did a nice job. And one thing that we didn't realize when we shot the video, but we did realize when we were reviewing it, yes. was that in the back of that camper where the bunk beds are, the reason there were two mattresses on the top bunk is because one of those two would actually go on the floor. Right. So you really have a triple bunk back there with one right. person sleeping on the floor and then you know you have two bunks above that. So I thought that was a really was great, great. Mm -hmm. feature in there. But I just like where their TV location was. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that it had two doors. Oh yeah, yeah. So you mm -hmm. could come into the back or come into the front. The kids mm -hmm. weren't running all through. The dinette area was very luxurious, right. that was, very nice that and big. That sat a lot of people. That yeah. was nice. Yeah. That was comfortable. So now it comes in at a much, much higher price point. But mm -hmm. and if you're looking for a camper that you could full time RV in, mm -hmm. you know, a Lance camper is certainly a right. great choice. That's why it's a little more expensive. They they really build them solid and mm -hmm. the quality on it is terrific. So. Um, Grand Designs are great too, f even for full timers, and they come in at a lower price. Right. But they just have a different level of, I guess, luxury, we'll call yeah, it. Yeah, different comfort level. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So, two awesome campers. And if you're interested in seeing some other campers with bunk beds, just click on the box down below. And also, if you've made it this far through our video, hopefully you've enjoyed it. We hope you'll subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel so that you'll be notified every single week when Susan and I come out with a brand new video. See you in the next video.